A Capitol rioter decided to represent himself in court. This was during a bond hearing and it did not go so well. Turns out that lawyers go through a whole schooling and licensing process that's difficult for a reason. <laughs> so you should consider that when you want to represent yourself in court. Now Brandon Fellows facing one felony charge for allegedly breaking into the US Capitol and smoking marijuana in Senator Jeff Merkley's office was put on pretrial release until US District Judge Trevor McFadden ordered him back into custody after he left obscene voicemails for his pretrial service officer and called the officer's mother. Oh my God. He also missed his court ordered mental health evaluation. So and yet, I still think I know how it would have gone. Despite yeah, missing it. Yeah, like that kind of stuff doesn't usually bode well when you're mm -hmm. facing charges. And so he wasn't happy with how things turned out. So Fellows decided he wanted to represent himself in court, despite the judge warning him not to do it. The judge is like, look, I'm looking out for you, homie. Don't represent yourself in court, it's not gonna work out well. In fact, the judge said this, I'm at a loss as to how to advise Mr. Fellows. I've never seen a defendant take a stand in a bond review hearing. And I think there are good reasons for that. Any statements you say now could be used against you at trial. I don't know what you intend to say and it sounds like the attorneys aren't sure either. So Fellows not only ignored the judge, but also tried to have him removed. The judge? F fellows that's a tried that's a power to have move. the judge removed. I like no, it. No, I mean. You walk into the courtroom, you move around the furniture, you get rid of the judge. That's what you do, establish how, dominance. How does, how does someone build that amount of confidence in themselves? Yeah, okay. How? Uh, he needs to be a life coach. Is he No, white? don't be a life coach, Fellows, don't white. be a life coach. <laughs> but really, I mean, the the. He was told by the President of the United States, you're very special people. That's a confidence booster. Totally, totally. The President whereas, loves him. Whereas uh, Joe Biden tells us, give me a break, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> it's amazing. Now, Fellows uh, told a tale like this. Now, we have the bond hearing, right? He spoke for two hours. Oh my and God. during those two hours, he admitted to two more federal felonies. Hmm. Let me tell you how that happened. So Fellows told a tale that went from a constitutional lawyer telling him to wrap his phone in tin foil to a book report he wrote in high school. I mean, the guy book? the guy feels Why so good about book? himself that he's like talking about his book report from high school the way Al Bundy talked about his high school football <laughs> career. It's amazing. Assist it's inspirational. It really is. Assistant yeah. Attorney Mona First <laughs> got fellows to admit under oath that he had climbed into the Capitol through a broken window, that he had used the previous judge's wife's contact to try to get him removed from the case, oh and God. that he had missed court ordered mental health and drug testing appointments. And so, uh, yeah. Since when is being honest a bad thing in America? He should be rewarded, John. Right? He should be rewarded. He should be a congressman, and he likely will be at some point. That second part, I agree with. He, you at know, some I, point, he will be. I'm glad mm -hmm. for personal reasons that this just happened. I recently watched A Few Good Men for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I don't want to spoil it or whatever, but it came out like 45 years ago. In the climactic scene, was the lawyer- a, Was it about Congress? Like, No, 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 it's about like the- Perfect title for Congress, a few good men. A, this is a couple, a few. it's mostly women actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's so true. The, the climax is that the lawyer gets the guy on the stand to admit that he actually did it. And it's good, it's emotional, but like, would they really do that under oath? Would you admit to a crime? Thank you, Rando, for supporting the narrative of this classic film. Look, I now buy it. Okay, now let's get serious. Obviously, they wanted him to undergo a mental health evaluation because something seems off. I believe in justice. I believe that he should go through a mental health sure, evaluation, yeah. and that should weigh into whatever his sentencing ends up being. He made awful decisions, but. I do believe in fairness in our justice system. So, you know, let's just keep all of that in mind. With that yes, said, yes. the judge had uh, the last words in this case. You are charged with a fel federal felony. This is not a community college where you get pats on the back. You've admitted to incredible lapses of judgment here on the stand, not least of which was seeking to disqualify a New York State judge. You've, in you've engaged in a pattern of behaviors that shows contempt for the criminal justice system 
system. And I just have no confidence that you will follow my orders if I release you. So he hmm. obviously will not be released on bond um, and you know, yeah. I think that's probably for the best. But with that said, he should go through the mental health evaluation and see what's going on here. Totally, and there should be legal consequences. He crawled yeah. in through a window. He, did, he wasn't a tourist, he wasn't standing between the stanchions or whatever, he knew what he was doing. Um, that said, the only small thing is, uh, I would need more context, but I don't think necessarily trying to get the judge off the case is like a huge disqualifying thing. If you it's think that a judge is biased against you, you sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, I mean, you can- A lot you, of judges suck. You can, and are biased. No, you're right about that. And you can petition to have your case moved to a different court and all of that. Yeah. that. That's not what happened here. It seems sure. like he did it in through illegal means and that's yeah. what the problem is. Blackmail. Um, but look, to his credit, he seems to have learned a lesson. He uh, has expressed some remorse. He says, I thought it was a stupid decision. Brandon Fellow said of his decision to represent himself. He admitted that he had mistakenly prepared for an evidentiary hearing, not a bond hearing. I think we should call that bluff and hold an evidentiary hearing. I want to see what he has for that. Because apparently he's well prepared. Don't don't represent yourself. This ain't TV. <laughs> this is literally not married with children. <laughs> and you could go to jail. Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening to him. Yeah. There are a lot of great ways to watch the Young Turks, but is there a best way? Of course, the best way is to watch live. Tune in weekdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. You get our uncensored, unapologetic version of the news that you won't get anywhere else. Watch us live.